first time bang pupunta sa isang meeting o hindi mo alam ang gagawin mo kapag nasa isang meeting. In this video, I'm going to show you my 5 best practices on how to conduct an effective meeting. Watch this! <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Archie Noche and for today I'm gonna be showing you the 5 best practices on how on or what you're going to do when you're having your first meeting. Okay, here we go. If you're a first timer and you're a newbie dito sa industry natin and you don't know what to do, you don't know what to say, diba? Noong una kasi yung simula ko pa lang, hindi ko pa alam eh, syempre hindi ko... Hindi ko gets kung paano, kung ano, ano yung dapat gawin during a uh, meeting. Yung first meeting ko naalala ko, hindi ko alam kung ano yung gagawin ko nun. Nakakatawa kasi <laughs> sa ano yun eh, sa isang coffee shop pa yung meeting na yun. I don't know what to do and what to order kasi hindi ko alam kung lalong lalo na simula dapat yung meeting place nyo and hindi pa masyado ayos and hindi ko rin alam kung ano yung i-offer ko hindi ko alam kung ano yung gagawin sa first move during a meeting. Nag-meet kami, nakausap namin and hindi rin kasi ako sanay dun sa mga coffee shop type na ano and kilala nyo ako for personally I don't do coffee shops and hindi ako sanay sa ganong type ng setting na pupunta sa mga coffee shops kasi hindi ako pala coffee na tao and hindi ako mahilig magpunta sa mga ganong type ng lugar. So, medyo nangangapa ako pag napunta ako sa coffee shop. So, ayun na, de, nakaupo na kami. Una-una, take the order. Hindi ko rin alam yung order ko kasi hindi naman ako lagi nandun eh. Nag-initiate siya. Ayun, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the 5 best practices on what to do in a meeting and what you should do when you're having your first meeting. And syempre, lalong-lalo na makakatulong tong video na to sa mga starters or fresh grad na magkakaroon ng meeting eh, hindi pa alam kung paano yung gagawin nila. Or syempre, alam na nila na. Pero, ito yung points to remember para magawa and makapag-conduct ng successful meet. Okay? So, here we go. Number 1. Number 1 is you have to be prepared. Be prepared always. You have to take notes, read your first emails or your conversation, syempre, para man ma-recall ka kung ano man yung pinag-usapan nyo or kung ano man yung mga pag-uusapan nyo during the meeting, syempre, kung ano man yung mga gagawin nyo and yung plans na maipopropose nyo, aralin mo. And personally, kung gustong gusto mo talaga makuha yung client na yun, you have to research. Research, syempre. Short research lang, katulad ng ginagawa ko kung may imimit akong tao. Nagtitake ako ng research, nag-aalat ako ng oras para malaman kung sino yung taong yun and kung ano yung ginagawa niya, kung ano yung mga interest niya, interest niya para magkaroon kayo ng common ground. Pag, pag nag-usap kayo, para ma-build up rin yung, ano, yung relationship nyo. Number two. Number two is you have to offer your hand. Offer your hand, pero wag sobrang... Sobrang strong ng pag-shake ng hand. Uh, firm lang. Firm lang, sakto lang. Pero wag din yung ano, yung ganyan, yung kaunti lang. Kasi, alam mo nyo na yun, parang first impression yun, ba? So, you have to shake the hand firmly para mapakita sa kanya na strong and firm ka sa mga decisions na gagawin mo and yung mga offer mo na plan or i-offer mo na mga value sa kanya is totoo ka, ba? Third is phone etiquette. Alam naman natin lahat or we all know that using phone while you're talking to someone is medyo nakakabastos, ba? Hindi naman ako, medyo nakakabastos. Nakakabastos kasi syempre kinakausap mo yung tao and you have to have the connection pero while you are talking to each other and using your phone, ba? Para namang wala kang interest dun sa kausap mo. So, syempre, if you have a meeting, you have to put away your phone or you have to put it on a silent mode para hindi ka ma-disturb. Hindi kayo ma-istorbo parehas ng kausap mo. Okay? For you have to bring your calling card or your details, syempre, para malaman ka. Bring your calling card. Bring your calling card para makausap ka and makilala ka ng tao. Para if ever na you have follow-ups or email, and syempre, kung sino yung designated na tao na tatawagan mo during the follow-up, calls, meron kang tao na maitatap regarding dun sa proposal or pag-set ng meeting nyo, yun yung tao na tatawagan nyo, makakontact nyo, ba? Siyempre, pag abot ng calling card, you have to stand up, don't give your calling card while you're sitting kasi nakakabastos yun. Give your calling card with your two hands and bigay, okay? Yun pala makikita mo na yung formality ng kausap mo. And it allows people to get in touch, syempre. And 
allows them to follow up on you regarding sa mga concerns nila dun sa proposal nyo or uh, may follow up sila na maitutulong regarding dun sa offer mo. Okay? And lastly, syempre, number five, fifth practice that you should always do is offer your value. Syempre, if you're setting a meeting, hindi naman basta-basta ka lang nagsiset ng meeting para sa wala lang. You have your goals and you have to deliver your value. Ipaintindi mo sa kanya kung ano yung maitutulong mo at the same time, kung paano mo maiintindihan yung kailangan nila during your conversation. Kaya importante yung, yung mag-usap kayo ng maayos and yung kung paano mo makikita yung pain points. Yung points katulad ng mga last meeting namin. Kasi ano, a while ago, we had three meetings and it was lit. Joke. Ayun. Una, nagpapakilala kami and offer your value. Pero napansin namin na hindi sila masyado interesado. Pero habang nag-uusap kami, syempre, kami nakukuha kami information sa kanila. At the same time, yung information na sinasabi nila or binibigay nila is nag-iisip kami ng way kung paano namin maikukonek sa iba naming offer or sa iba naming product para magkaroon ng collaboration, di ba? Yun. So, fifth is you have to offer your value para maintindihan nila kung ano yung pinaka-goal mo. And syempre, yung goal mo naman is para makatulong sa ibang tao, di ba? Yun. That's all for today. So, quick recap lang tayo para sa five practices na you should practice during the meetings. Number one is you have to be prepared Number two is you have to offer your hand, okay? And number three is phone etiquette. Alam nyo na yun. And next, number four is bring your calling card. Number five is add your value, okay? So, sana nakatulong tong video ko na to. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Kung may nakilimutan ako, please comment down kung meron kayong suggestions and how to improve para makatulong rin sa akin at the same time sa mga tao manunod dito. Comment down if you have tips. Siyempre, yung mga practices na ginagawa nyo during the meeting para maging successful to. And to close the deal. Okay? So that's all for today. Thank you. Please don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button para manotify kayo sa mga susunod na video yung gagawin ko. And that's all for today. Thank you.